Hi, how's it going everyone? Max here. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use the BitMEX API tool by Mr. Lope. So the first step is going to be that if you currently have the stop loss tool set up and installed, we're just going to have to delete uh, one of the PHP files because we're going to be installing PHP via the web platform installer. So you won't actually need that previous file added. So control panel. So this step's only for people who currently have the stop loss tool installed. So control panel, system, advanced system settings, environmental environment variables, path, edit, and then that PHP we put in last time, we're just going to want to delete it. Okay. 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 So now we're ready to set up and use the BitMEX API tool by Mr. Lowe. Okay. So we're opening up the tool now. Let's go to open up the readme. And then we're going to do the step one. So we're going to be installing PHP 7.03 times 64 using the web platform installer. So we need to install the web platform installer. So you want to go to this page here and hit this install ex extension. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to be doing this step. But once you have it installed, join me on the next step. So you have it installed now. Let's open up Microsoft Web Platform Installer. Yes, we allow it to make changes to our device. Let it do its thing. And then let's go to products at the top and search for PHP. So found PHP 7.03, but this is times 86. So we're going to scroll down until we see times 64 right here. So we want to hit add. And then before hitting the install button, it says here three items to be installed. And you're actually going to want to hit the cross on PHP manager for IIS because it will just give us an error message and it's not something we need. So get rid of that. And then once you've done that, close and hit install. I accept. Dun, 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 dun. Let it do its thing. There we go, installed, finish. And then we can close ourselves out of the web platform installer. Okay, now we're ready for the next step. So the next step is adding API key and API secret key into the config.ini. Config.ini is this one right here, open that up. So you can see I already have my API key in here and my API secret key in here. If you don't know how to get your API keys or create an API key, quickly drag over BitMEX here. You want to go to account at the top right and then look down and then under account and preferences, you want to hit API keys and then create an API key. As you can see here that my API key is here, the one I have in the config file. And don't worry, I will be deleting it after I make this video. So we have our API key put in the file then. So you put your API key in there, API secret key in there. I think you get it. The config file is also where we'll be changing, uh, future contracts. So once these roll over and the, the beginning that I think the next one is Z, you just change it to a Z where the, you know, the M was previously, that's, that's it. And then you can change the default amount and the scalping amount and the scalp stop loss amount. You'll see what this is all about in a sec once we have the tool set up. So let's do the next step because we now have our API keys where they should be. So the next step is then taking all of this and putting it in our ionet pub ww root file. So C colon backslash inet pub. Enter. There we go. So we then go to ww root and all you could do is you take this with your config file, with your API key in, and plop it in there. Just like that. Awesome. And now we're ready to log into the tool. So take this local host bitmex.php. If you have a web server, then you can use this instead and you have that all set up. But for this video, local host bitmex.php, copy that. And then say, let's go over to our browser here and paste and go. And voila, 
as you can see here, got the BitMEX a Mistos API tool all set up nicely, right? And it's ready to go and working. Okay, I'm now gonna go through sh demonstrating the scalp order XBT market and the scalp order XBT limit. So first of all, you choose the pair. So XBT USD is perp, and then you have the futures M19, U19. You then choose 100X or 50X. And what this tool will do, it will put in a stop loss for you and profit targets, two profit targets, and you can change this all around, you know, where you want the profit targets, how much it is in the config file. So we'll do 100X, we'll do 500, and we'll do a sell. So I'm gonna be hitting the sell button in a sec. I'm gonna quickly change the scene so you guys can see it live on Mex. So sell, and there we go. We sold at market. Let's look over on Mex. We sold at market, we have a stop loss at 72.87. We're in short at 72.73.5. And you can see the automatic profit targets, 72.15, 71.86. So there we go, all working fine. Okay, so now I'm gonna demonstrate using a scalp order XBT limit. So let's go with uh, USD again. Instead, let's do 50X this time. And so we're getting limit filled, so we get paid this time to open up the position. Uh, we'll go with, let's go with 72, what's the current price? Let's try and get filled just so I can uh, demonstrate it for you guys. 72, 66, 500, and we're gonna go long this time. So we'll do that. As you guys can see, it's put in the orders. And we got filled there, and as you can see, the stop limit triggered, and then it pushed, put the targets in then. And the reason for this is that you can't have a, a reduce-only profit target before getting filled. So Mr. Lowe's worked out this amazing workaround using stop limits, and it then puts in the profit targets once you're filled in the position. And so you, you see we have our stop loss here on our 50x, so 72.38, our profit target 73.62, 73.39. So there you go, that's stop limit. So this is fairly self-explanatory. So in brackets, it says here, the top market ignores price. So price is only for limit orders. If you're market or marketing, you're taking the whatever price it gives you. And then this part, I'll quickly demonstrate this because there might be a bit of confusion here. So stop order ignores side, but use negative amount for long position. So say we wanted to put in a stop loss on, we were going for a short and we want to put a stop loss in at 7,300. We'll do 5,000. The leverage doesn't matter. It's a stop loss. So we'll go, yep, choose stop here. And we're going to go with reduce reduce only and close on trigger. So I, whenever I use stop losses, I'm always using close on trigger because I never want to open a position with my stop loss. I always want to just close it out. And this allows me to put in my stop loss more than my position, but it will only close a position. It won't open a new one. So 7,300, 5,000 stop close on trigger i'm going to be hitting the sell button in a second let me just pop over to mech so you guys can see so here we go i'm hitting right it, again it doesn't it doesn't matter so the it doesn't matter if you hit sell or buy it doesn't matter whatsoever there we go we put in our stop loss at 7300 for 5000 and again it doesn't matter if it gets hit it's only going to close positions close a short so that's that. So say we wanted to put in a long. This is where it can get a bit complicated, but all you're doing is putting in a minus number. So say we wanted to put a stop loss on a long at 7,200, same amount, 5,000. We're going with, oh, wait, you guys can't see this, sorry. So XBT, 7,200, same amount, 5,000, stop. But the difference is this time is we're putting in an order for a long stop loss. So, in, so we're putting an order for below price. So what we need to do then is to put a minus number in front of our amount and then again we can hit sell or buy close on trigger sell or buy doesn't really matter put that in let's go over to max and there you can see at 7200 we have a 5000 stop loss so there you go that's how to do it there okay now i'm going to go through what i think is one of the best features of the tool and the, the part i use the most and that is ladder ladder orders so this allows you to put in laddered orders on any pair. So you pick a start price, you pick an end price, and then you choose the amount and the number of orders you want, and it will 
put in multiple orders at the same time in that range you selected. And then it also allows you to put in a stop loss for that order. And you can also put in order size increase so that you want bigger orders at the end or do you want bigger orders, you know, the beginning for your fills. So let's do an example. Let's head over to Mex. See the, the, the scalp we did earlier is doing all right. And let's pick, let's go with, should we go with ADA? Let's have a look at ADA. Okay, so say for example, this is all for example, it's not, I'm not saying do this trade, whatever. Say for example, we trusted this low here on ADA. We like this bottom it found here. So we like that as our stop loss. And we want to scale in, but we don't want to buy it up here. So say we want to scale in. Yeah, so we'll go see if we want to scale in in all of this range. So let's choose our the bottom part and then our top price. Yeah, we'll go with go with here. So we're going to start at 1008. 943 and then our stop loss at 922. So let's head back over to the tool. But actually first let's copy the, the current price so we know the number of decimals. So we'll copy, head back over to the tool. Let's go to ADA, our leverage, we'll put it on 20. The amount we'll go with, should we do what, 5,000 start price. So start price is 1,008. End price is, so add another decimal, 943, and then our stop loss, copy that, is 922, so we do 921. Five orders, we'll, we'll make it, should we do eight orders? And let's not use any order size increase, so all the orders are going to be the same amount. So I'll put it back on max. I'm about to hit the buy button so you guys can see. Let's go buy. And there you go. You see how I scaled in all those orders? put us in our stop loss and then you can put in your your targets as well and once you get filled you put in reduce only targets and that's it that's it that's how you set up the laddering orders all right last but not least guys we have the ability to cancel all orders check yes and then hit submit now this won't close current positions it will just close all orders if you want to close current positions, you go to the top. Yes, submit. All right, that's going to be all for this video. Big shout out to Mr. Lowe for making this amazing API tool. If you have any comments, drop them down below. It'd be really helpful if you did have any questions and comments because if someone came along and already saw your question answered, it'd be really helpful to them. So leave a like, subscribe, drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.